Hello everybody, it's Scott Omato back for another episode of Thriving with Project E. And we're picking up right where we left off. Uh, I've got the iron finished, so we're going to go ahead and make us some pants. Then we just need one more for some boots, or for a helmet. And we don't have it yet, but we'll get it soon enough. So let's go ahead and break down here. Take what we need. And move on. Now the fun starts uh, in the mining. Again, Project E has a, a very different system of mining. I'm going to get one over here. We're looking for clear mining spots, and we still need to get down to diamond level. So I'll just rush down to there. Just a little bit more to go. Um, but again, mining is completely different with Project E and much more powerful. And the goals are different. Uh, instead of just gathering everything we see around us, um, we want to get high value items. And that'll build up our EMC quickly, which we can use to purchase all the low value items. Essentially purchase. I mean, it really is type of, a type of money system. EMC stands for uh, Energy Matter Currency. I've also seen it as Energy Matter Covalence, but we should be good there. So let's just start looking around in blocks. Okay, so I can see there's emeralds that way. That way there's gold. Now we can also look below us all the way to bedrock. We can look above us. But let's head toward the emeralds. And at this point... I could start using the iron and probably will. All right, so there's some gold right there. Right in front of us now, you see it showed the higher value item, the highest value item. The shovel would be more useful than the axe here. Okay, so we want to tunnel out and expose as many chunks to us as we can. And we will pick up redstone along the way. Because redstone is used for a fuel in some of the later items. Um, and it has a pretty good value. So I'm going to st stick with iron for right now. It's quicker. And we'll quickly uh, be able to repair it and all that kind of stuff. So you want to just keep divining to make sure you're headed. See, we've passed the emeralds now. There's diamonds down there. So I'll show you how that works. But the emeralds. Okay, they're in this block. So keep in mind it's searching a 3x3 three three area. So if you don't find it immediately, then you know it's off to the side of you somewhere. All right, quit doing, what, what are you doing? Stop. Oh, I keep hitting the one key. Sorry. Instead of grave. All right. So let's look for our emerald again. It's there. And it's within 16 blocks in a 3x3. Three three. So again, if you don't see it, uh, it can be above or below you. Uh, is it above our head? Yeah, it's above our head right here. There it is. Okay, so you can just narrow the search down. Okay, so an emerald is worth 16,384 EMC. That's how we know that we found emeralds. It, when it says 16,000, a diamond is 8,192. And gold is 2048. So back here we saw some diamonds. And then the great thing about mining right, right down here... The great thing about mining with Project E in this way is that you would normally only mine at level 11 to stay above the lava lake level, but you would never see the stuff below you unless you just happen upon it. With this system, we can see things below us too, so we can go right to them. Um, I'll just drop down. Okay, let's see how much further away it's below us still. So it's a ways down. Is 
down under this block somewhere. Okay. So we'll just have to dig us a little mouse trap. Okay, so we've hit the bedrock. So right in here. Okay, so there's our first diamonds. Okay, and we got two. So let's just always search around you to know. We don't really want to be at this level because of the lava we could run into. But we're in a cl pretty clean space. Uh, there's an emerald off in this direction. We'll give it a little bit of a try. See how far away it is. Just be aware of lava. It can ruin your day. There's diamonds this way. Emeralds above our head. And mining above your head in this scenario is a bad idea. For that very reason, but mainly for lava. So the emerald... It looks like it's pretty far up. So I, um, maybe behind this block. That's one thing that always drives me crazy when I'm mining is I'm thinking right behind the block that I didn't mine, is there something there of value? And with this system, you don't have to worry about that. You, you can see off in those directions. Okay, so we got diamonds this way. And then emerald, this emerald is just hiding from us. It's a three by three, so you have to be aware of that. Um, but let's just go for the diamonds. I'm, I'm tired of looking for this emerald. So there, it seems to go in the diagonal. All right, there's that emerald that we were looking for. The light. And it seems to kind of go into a diagonal. Yeah, so it looks like a pretty big group of diamonds. Yeah, right here. Maybe we'll get eight out of it. Uh, no, we got five, I think. Emerald. I think I saw diamonds down here. Emeralds. Okay, so let's try to get back up to... 11 because it, it is very dangerous mining at this level. And just keep checking because all right, there's diamonds this way. And we can, again, vein mine to get to them quicker. Uh, we won't have to do that for long. Okay, my inventory is going to be a mess. Go ahead and clean out. Stuff that we don't need. We want to keep one flint for sure.
at this stage, you know, it's good to keep most stuff because we haven't actually captured it yet. But we don't need this much cobble. We will need quite a bit of cobble for the um, nether. Let's get back on track. Our diamond hunt. This direction. And again, like I said, you can vein mine. But, you know, that's just going to cause you to have to use up more hunger. But it does get you quicker where you need to be. But it can also expose more lava. So, we did okay in that group. Okay, so we've got three emeralds. We've already got 122,000 EMC. We're going to eat. Take the water bucket off the bar now. I don't regret that when we run into lava. Actually, I can take the coal off the bar. And I don't know about you, but inventory management drives me crazy, which is one of the reasons I love the Project E system once we really get going. So we got gold. Um, nothing else much emeralds that away. We've dug such a mouse trap that I would kind of like to get back into some sanity here. Uh, wherever our main tunnel was. Just so we can work our way out again. And, and you know, we pretty much know we've cleaned out these lower areas. Alright, so th that's sanity again. So let's continue our searches at this level. Rather than getting caught into a great big mess. So I just like to go forward a ways to give myself some areas to search. And then we're going to need to make some more picks. Um. So let's go ahead and do that now, this area. Okay, so we've got 23 iron, which we can definitely finish out our armor set. And it may be worth it. Let's see what. <clears throat> it may be worth it now to go ahead and just make a chest to put here. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to go ahead and continue forward for the time being. See if we can find another direction to go in. That'll be profitable. Diamonds this way. Um, I didn't make picks. I need that. Our iron's going to quickly go. So we'd like to get about a half a million EMC to start. That, that would give us a very solid start. Um, um, yeah, let me put it down again real quick. Make my hat. And now we're full iron.
So it was right here. And again, it's within 16 blocks. So if you go 16 blocks and don't find them, then look off to the sides. Okay, there we go. Nice gold. Redstone. All right. Let's see if we get another hit. sure if I got that redstone. All right, let's just continue forward. Uh, maybe off of that main tunnel would be better. That way you just don't create a big trap for yourself. So our picks are getting quite low. I'm going to just switch to iron at this point. Your water. Um, I haven't been looking at the map too much to see what we're headed into. But nothing much worth it looks like maybe off to the side we may hit a cave lapis I think lapis is 864 Not much. But the good thing about it is that you know for a fact that you're not missing anything. And that's always a kind of a problem when you're mining. And thus you do the kind of strip mining or branch mining to try to see as much area as you can. But here you can see it. Now we're see we're in a taiga now. I'd I'd rather not be in a taiga. So I'm going to go off in another direction. Um. Yeah, let's try to go this way. Taigas, you're not going to get emeralds. So it doesn't make a lot of sense to to mine in those areas if you can avoid it. So this is not as much of a fast-paced get all the diamonds in the world playthrough as I was hoping as it sometimes is. But it's okay. It's just what you've got to do. Right, so there's emerald that way. The good part about an extreme hills is that you can almost always move into some direction that'll get you either an emerald or diamonds. And whereas that's, of course, very different in the other biomes. Okay, there's emerald. And the whole time that we traveled, it made it worth it. There's another emerald. Okay, so we'll keep heading toward the emeralds. So emerald is basically two diamonds. A little bit more. Okay, we're 
Maybe I'll hit a cave. All right, so there's our ammo. Gold, diamonds this way. Yeah, for this style of mining, Extreme Hills is preferred, for sure. Make sure we're still headed toward it. No. So. Okay, off, off to the side a little bit. And just that one block can hide, you know, your riches, your loot. And that personally drives me crazy. So it's more likely in this direction. Need to put down some light. Yeah, still in front of us. So I'm th thinking that other one might have been hitting upon another one. Because this one seems to be at the edge of our range. So we'll want to go back and check. Because yeah, we wouldn't have picked up this one. From that distance. Okay, so we've got 26 diamonds. And again, we've exposed a lot of area. All right, diamonds this way. If I got more bars, yeah. All right, right here. So these may be the one that was clued in. That looked like I ate one. That was 30. Okay. So search below you as well, although it's a lot of work to get to it. Um, yeah, we'll leave that redstone. Emerald above. Almost always an emerald or a diamond within a search range in the extreme hills. So it's it's literally above us. And maybe further than we want to deal with. Some emeralds you just have to let them go. Um, okay, so let's get a total of what we're doing here. We've got... 245,000 and 81,000. So, you know, 330,000, something like that. We want to get at least a couple more clusters of diamonds. All right, there's some right. Or which block? It looks like it's down at an angle. Where'd that go? Dude, I just saw you. There's emerald. Didn't I? Yeah, right here. Kind of in an odd space. Like an angle. See, it's that way, in an angle. So maybe another block over here will pick it up. So you can kind of triangulate a little bit. Thinking it's below us. No. Right over here somewhere.
Okay, so that's one of our tunnels. This is the ravine. It's down below here somewhere. Straight. Maybe here on the other side of the ravine. There we go. So again, there's a ravine exposed. Let me throw away some of this crap. I don't know if this is where we'll get our obsidian from. Definitely want to watch that water. you we still had diamonds in the ground here so we need to just quickly make another iron pick we're going through them it makes me wish I had the repair talisman but we don't have string Okay, so we got 35, 286,000, 81,000. Just a few, couple more clusters, man. Okay, so no hits that away. But we are back to a home base area. Okay, but we're pretty cleaned out at this point. Already searched all along there. Gold that way. We'll just keep digging into here a bit more. We are at 11. So again, we won't have to do this for hardly any time at all until we get that 500,000 or so that we want. Uh, and that's just a guideline. You don't really have to go for all... All right, diamonds that away. Go for that entirely. And unfortunately, we've gotten small diamond clusters. I'm not sure that we've ever gotten an eight yet. Your lava. Okay, so where'd they go? Right here. Yeah, still forward. And obviously, you know, diamonds are in veins. There we go. I think there is still some below us, too, that it was hitting on. Right or no? Yeah. Okay, so maybe this will be our last two clusters, hopefully. I don't know how many I got in that one. Okay, so down, down here.
still down, just a little mouse hole is what we're going to have to make. And the, unfortunately, the closer you get to bedrock, the less less large the cluster is going to be. It's right here, so it's probably just a one. Yeah. We'll take it. No choice. Let's just look around this real quick. Gold. Okay, so let's look around again. So it's a very fun way to mine, really. Uh, but again, we're goal-driven at this point. So we're going to have to call the episode now. Uh, we're over time, close. So 344,000 plus the emeralds, which we haven't picked up a lot, 81,000. So we're over 420,000. We do have Quite a bit of gold. Um, I think just off camera, I'm going to find at least one more cluster and come back to you guys when we've got that. We've got at least our 500,000. All right. So, anyway, thanks for watching. You could see that mining with Project E is a much different style. And, uh, Sometimes it's it's really frequent where you're getting diamonds just everywhere you look. In this case, we're doing okay. We're doing good. Uh, it's, you know, just not as many around. We're traveling a little bit more distance than I, than I would like to. But it's still a very, very powerful way to mine, and it'll move us quickly through this system. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. This is Scott Omato, and... Tune in for the next one, guys. Bye-bye.